Japan has launched its lunar exploration spacecraft aboard a homegrown H2A rocket, clearing the path to become the world's fifth country to land on the moon early next year. Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency said that the rocket took off from Tangashima Space Center in southern Japan as planned and successfully released the smart lander for investigating moon that is slim. Unfavorable weather had led to three postponements in a week last month for this lunar mission. The rocket carries a revolutionary satellite that will reveal celestial objects in a new light and the moon's sniper lunar lander. Jaksha's H2A, the agency's most reliable rocket with just one failure out of 42 launches since 2001, carried the small lander for investigating moon or slim. Standing less than 3 meters tall, the lander could pave the way for other probes with high navigational accuracy. This compact exploration lander has been engineered to showcase a pinpoint landing accuracy within a specific area of 100 meters as opposed to the conventional kilometer range achieved through the utilization of advanced landing technology. This remarkable precision has earned the mission its moniker Moon Sniper. SLIM is said to exhibit landing techniques using a compact explorer, further propelling the study of the moon and planets through more lightweight exploration systems. The rocket also carried the X-ray Imaging and Spectroscopy mission or PRISM, a satellite that will help scientists observe plasma in stars and galaxies. This satellite stands as a collaborative venture between JAXA and NASA involving contributions from the European Space Agency and Canadian Space Agency as well. The satellite and its two instruments will observe the universe's hottest regions, largest structures and objects with the strongest gravity. CRISM will detect X-ray light, a wavelength invisible to humans. X-rays are released by some of the most energetic objects and events in the universe, which is why astronomers want to study them. Compared with other wavelengths of light, X-rays are so short that they pass through the dish-shaped mirrors that observe and collect visible, infrared and ultraviolet light such as the James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes. With that in mind, CRISM has thousands of curved individual nested mirrors better designed to detect X-rays. The satellite will need to calibrate for a few months once it reaches orbit. The mission is designed to operate for three years. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.